Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm here to talk about Spider-Man 2, also Sam Raimi, obviously we didn't already read the title, but basically, the thing about this movie is that it probably be a little quicker than the last one, because the last one I went through all of the characters, and the idea is I could go through all the characters again, most of them are the exact same, except for a few, which is, um, Doc Ock, who, now that I'm, uh, well, you yeah, know, no, no. What, 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 there's no way it's actually Octopus. It's not his real last name. But it was... I can't think of his real name. The idea is it's the dude with the tentacle metal arms. But the point is, basically, you got Doc Ock, and he's one of the main new characters in the movie. Other than that, you got Peter, James Franco, a.k.a. Harry. You got Mary Jane, um, Aunt May, no Uncle Ben, he's dead, but that's okay. Um, but all the same main characters from the last one, but the difference is that in this one, Harry goes more into that evil trance of because of the fact that, yeah, which I even actually honestly forgot to mention at the end of the last one, but, um, Peter slash Spider-Man technically did kill Harry's father because he was the Green Goblin, but because of that, then you have the whole movie of Harry trying to find and find out who spider well, no, get Spider-Man, find out who he is, and then kill him. So yeah, you have that whole thing. Um, with I'm trying to think, with Peter during this movie, I'm trying to think of like what it, what his main goals are. It is just saving people because he is Spider-Man. That's like one of the big ones. But um, eventually, oh yeah, 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 no, 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 no. I'm thinking of it. He gets to that point during like that middle con cut or a little earlier. I can't think of it of where he decides that he shouldn't be Spider-Man. And he doesn't want to listen to the, with great power comes great responsibility because he cares about with my life comes, I don't give a fuck, which, you know, fair enough. But yeah, no, so then he wants to give everything up and then he throws away the Spider-Man suit, the, um, oh yeah, oh, I even forgot to mention, freaking, um, <laughs> um, the, no, I can't think of his name. But like the newspaper dude, the it's gonna come to me later. It's gonna piss me off. But yeah, no, he even he gets a suit during this. He was in the first one too. I just forgot to think. I didn't even think about it. There was like a whole scene where he does like the um, where Goblin shows up and he's like, I don't know who gave me the pictures. He sends them in the mail, which he knows is Peter Parker. But yeah, and you see him try to kind of save Peter's ass, which is like kind of cool. But you know, you have that, and then um. That's from the first one, but, um, but yeah, no, you have that character that I forgot to mention during the first one, but he got the suit from the garbage from some homeless guy, paid him money, but, um, he got the suit because Spider-Man threw it away, and then you have that period of time where Spider-Man's just like, you know, got raindrops falling on my head, and he's just all being Peter Parker and says, fuck everybody else, but then, you know, push comes to shove, fire... Peter's soul wanting to become a hero again, he just runs into the fire and, like, gets himself, like, not hurt, but, like, just lungs, those exist, so you got that whole part of the movie, but, you yeah, know, it was really cool having, because, like, I think that's one of, like, the main moments, that and the train scene, that make this movie stand out from all the other Spider-Man movies. I still think, even now thinking on it, like, because I, like, the whole idea is that I rewatched it, even though I'm forgetting still some of it. But, um, in the second one, I, I, I used to always say that it was better, but I think the only reason for that is the fight scene and the fact that he stopped being Spider-Man. Like, those are the only highlights, and it makes me think Spider-Man 1 might still be higher. Like, I'm gonna do the whole, I'm gonna do an actual ranking when I'm done with all these Spider-Man movies, I think, hopefully. But, um, but the main point is, Spider-Man 2 is still really good. It's a really good movie. And like I said, you have all those scenes, and then you also have where Doc Ock, or, like, or after the Doc Ock fight scene, which, yeah, by the way, the whole fight scene thing, the idea is that the train fight scene is one of the best fight scenes probably in cinema. I still think that the sand, the, the Goblin one was kind of, might be slightly better, if not at an equal playing field. But yeah, the fight scene on the train. Where, like, he falls off the train. He starts swinging, or, er, like, riding on a door at one point, which was, which is just great. And then he runs in the wall and he gets back on the train. But you have that, the fight scene on the train, and then eventually gets on the train, 
where like his mask's off and then all the people see his face and they help him up and they say they're not going to tell anybody which that isn't realistic people will be taking their phones out and recording but um puts his mask back on and then what's his name shows up knocks him on his ass throws all the people out of the way and then brings him to harry harry takes off his mask he's like oh shit it's peter and he's like you killed my father and like you got that whole scene which is fucking great like, it's bad, but it's great. Like, it filmed very well, is what I'm trying to say. It's not a good thing that he killed his best friend's dad. Like, that, there's nothing good about that, but yeah. But, you know, you have that whole part, and then the ending fight scene is really good. I just don't think it's... It's definitely not as good as the ending fight scene with the Green Goblin. But it's really good, because you have that moment where he actually rethink Or, like, he actually takes back control of his body from the arms taking over, and he saves Peter... Or everyone, really. He pulls the thing down and shoves it into the ocean and saves everybody. Even though he made it, but he saves everybody from his own creation. But, yeah, no, it's just... I, I just think, as a whole, it's great. I'm trying to see if there's any big outliers that I'm missing of, like, great things. Because what I'm doing is basically just saying all the great things in the movie and then giving it my two cents. But, um, the other big thing about this movie, and I think might be... Like, because it's not a fight scene. It's just an actual scene. Might be one of the best scenes from a Spider-Man movie, is the is the scene where, before Peter, takes reclaims being Spider-Man, is like, oh, I'm gonna be Spider-Man again, cause why not? And then you have that whole funny scene of, what's his name thinking, I drove Spider-Man away, and then the second the suit was on, he's a thief, and he starts writing bad things, you know, which is great. But before, but after, but before that, you have that scene, where Aunt May, tells Peter why Spider-Man is needed. And I love the idea that Uncle Ben told Peter, well, in, in, at least in his mind, told Peter, Peter Parker that he should be Spider-Man. And then after him not caring and giving up being Spider-Man, Aunt May had to make him rethink everything. I love that. 10 out of 10. That actual scene, like, I'm saying best scene in any Spider-Man movie that isn't just a fight scene with like a bunch of CGI or a bunch of people beating each other up is that scene. Amazing. Second best would probably be like the heartwarming scene of somewhere from the first one over the fence. But best scene, in my opinion, is just that scene where it's just meaningful Aunt May telling Peter Parker why he needs to be Spider-Man and why Spider-Man is needed in this world and is actually important. I think that's great. And, it's, and, it, and like I love that it comes from like the little kid that was trying to help him out and like he's like, oh, you know where Spider-Man is? You took pictures of him. But yeah. Great movie trying to make sure I'm not missing anything else. It's like big, important scene. Oh, shit. The fucking clock tower fight. Damn, I almost forgot about that hoe. Because um, th that also brings into the idea that he saves Aunt May during that. But, like, I still think there's a whole thing where I think she did know. Like like most of the movies, I think she did anyway. And just didn't tell him. Kind of like Oliver Queen's mom knowing, but just not telling him. I think that, in my opinion, but that's just a whole debate. But, um... Where, where was I going? Freaking... Yo, yeah, no, no. Him saving Aunt May. Supposedly without her knowing. And the whole, like, all the girls. Like, oh, my God. Save me instead. Yeah, you have that whole scene. That scene's great. Also up there with one of the best scenes from the movie. I'm trying to think of something else. I think that's it. But overall, movie rating, solid um, 10 out of 10. Same, same, as, same as the first one. Overall, I think they both are equal... I just think that some scenes, like the Green Goblin fight, is just as good. Like, very equally as good, just because the Green Goblin fight was amazing from, like, the last fight. Or, the, like, the last fight scene during that movie and that whole last section. Great. But, yeah. First and second movie. Or, well, I'm talking about the second movie. Second movie, solid 10 out of 10. And I really hope you guys are enjoying these reviews. And like I said last time, if y'all have any debates with me, if y'all think Sam Raimi is the best... Or Sam Raimi Spider-Man, a.k.a. Tobey Maguire, is the best Spider-Man. Tell me in the comments. Tell me I'm wrong. Which I haven't even told you all of my favorite yet. Well, you guys are going to find that out after I'm done with all of them. But yeah. All I've said so far is that Sam Raimi, or that Tobey Maguire is not my favorite. And there's reasons. And I'm going to have a whole debate on that. But yeah. As a whole, Spider-Man 2, 10 out of 10 movie. Loved it. Out of all the Spider-Man movies, I'm going to rank it also eventually in another video. But yes. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you liked it, you can like the video. 
Um, you can subscribe to my channel, you can comment in the description and tell me any of your opinions about this movie in specifically. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye bye.